It's 2.0 for Cap Show. From Brisbane, the latest from podnews.net with measurement by Magellan AI. Cap Show has launched version 2.0 of the company's platform, which allows podcasters to turn their podcast episodes, audio or video recordings into marketing content designed to help amplify and promote their message. The service also writes your show notes for you and even researches your guests. Ashley Carman reports on a tense staff meeting at NPR, which laid off 84 people last week. Acast has made five people redundant from one of its tech teams. Stacey Goers was one of those affected. It's always very sad to have to say goodbye to talented colleagues, a spokesperson told us. Warner Music Group is to lay off 270 staff, or 4% of the total company. It's unclear whether their podcast division will be impacted. And interactive TV company Roku is to cut a further 200 jobs, or 6% of the company, has doubled the layoffs they announced in November. Libsyn has mailed its hosting customers, announcing Apple Podcast subscriptions, YouTube stats and an episode tracking tool, as well as stats exports. CNN reports she fell in love with a podcast host and flew across the world to meet her. The podcast came out in 2006. It's not named. The couple are still together. Podshape has launched Sleepscape, a premium subscription podcast that gives you two hours of sounds from places across Australia. The world's first ambient sound sleep aid podcast, it calls itself. It's recorded in 360-degree audio and is available exclusively on Apple Podcasts. And Libsyn is in the process of making its logo all teal. GeoSarvan has also an updated logo, which the company has emailed to podcasters and which we link to today from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. It's an excellent page highlighting how to pronounce and type the brand as well. And perhaps now is a good time to mention that we are spelt podnews without a capital N. No, really. Just like any web page can be viewed by any web browser, we want to make sure... Anything that calls themselves a podcast can be used with any podcast player. This week's Pod News Weekly Review includes an interview with Justin Jackson and Charles Wilchin, two people from the recently announced Podcast Standards Project, and Sam and I learn more about what it offers. Critical Role has purchased the Midst sci-fi podcast from Third Person, a company run by the three co-founders of the podcast. They will continue to work on the show. Terms weren't disclosed. Truth Be Told with Tonya Mosley has joined APM Studios. It was produced by KQED. And Something in Media is a new podcast where successful people in television, film, radio, podcasting and social media all tell their story about how they got to where they are. It launches tomorrow, featuring the likes of Jamie Morton from My Dad Wrote a Porno, James Longman, who's executive producer on The Late Late Show with James Corden, but it's not his fault, Jess Rudkin from BBC Bristol, and Dave Vitti, formerly of the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. This podcast is sponsored by Measurement by Magellan AI. Podcast attribution, impression delivery verification, competitive intelligence and simulcast measurement, all in one convenient dashboard. Sign up for a demo at magellan.ai slash measurement. And we thank them for their support this month. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 